Welcome. Let's take a look at using the technique of substitution to evaluate these indefinite integrals that involve a square root. So starting with the integral on the left, we might think about composition of functions. And the only real composition of functions that we see here is x squared plus 15 embedded within uh, the square root function. So let's go ahead and try to use that to rewrite our integral. So let's let u be x squared plus 15. And we're going to try to replace um, all instances of the variable x with the new variable u. Now, if we do that, then our differential for u is u prime of x dx. In this case, differential for u would be 2x dx. Now, as I look at my integral here, I can see that I could replace the argument of this square root function with u. I have a little bit of a concern here with this x cubed because somehow that needs to tie to either u or du. And notice that our du requires only a single um, factor of x, not three factors of x. So let's go ahead and try rewriting this. Let's rewrite this as x squared times x. So we separate out the x that we need for the differential for u times the square root of x squared plus 15 dx. At this point, we still see that we could replace that with that x squared plus 15 with u. And we see that there's potential that this x uh, can be combined with this dx. We could end up with a 2x dx by simply multiplying by 2 over 2 or 1. So that won't change the value any. So that numerator in that fraction can combine to make our du. But we're still left to consider what to do with this x squared. Well, if we come back up to where we said or declared that u was equal to x squared plus 15, and we are knowledgeable or we understand that we want to replace this x squared, well, what we could do is say, well, if u is equal to x squared plus 15, then what is x squared equal to? Well, if u is equal to x squared plus 15, then x squared would be equal to u minus 15. So we could replace this x squared with u minus 15. So let's take a look at how this plays out. Um, this 1 half factor from the 2 over 2 we'll go ahead and put in front of the integral. So we'll have 1 half the integral. I'm going to write this as x squared times the square root of x squared plus 15 times, and now I'm going to take use the commutative, proper, commutative and associative properties of multiplication and put this, uh, multiply this 2x over here by the dx, so 2x dx. And now we can see how we're replacing various components. This 2x dx is replaced by du. This square root of x 
squared minus 15 is replaced by square root of u. This x squared is replaced by u minus 15. And so our new integral is 1 half times um, u minus 15 times the square root of u, so we'll write that as u to the 1 half power du. And now I can use the distributive property to multiply u minus 15 with u to the 1 half power. We get 1 half times the integral. u times u to the 1 half power is u to the 3 halves power minus 15 u to the 1 half power du. And now we're ready to find the antiderivative, um, basically inverting the power rule. So 1 half times the antiderivative of u to the 3 halves. I add 1 to the exponent, so that gives me u to the 5 halves and divide by 5 halves minus 15 times adding 1 to the exponent 1 half I get 3 halves so u to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves plus our constant of integration. Now we're not quite done we need to replace our u's with the original uh, definition that u was x squared plus 15. And let's go ahead and uh, take care of this division by a fraction and multiply by the reciprocal. So we'll have 1 half times 2 fifths x squared plus 15 to the th 5 halves power minus 15 times 2 thirds times x squared plus 15 to the 3 halves power plus c. Now we're just about done. Let's go ahead and distribute our 1 half and take care of any multiplications that need to occur. So when I multiply 1 half times 2 fifths, I'll just get 1 fifth x squared plus 15 to the 5 halves power. And when I multiply uh, 1 half times the two-thirds, the twos will divide out. Also notice that um, the th three in the denominator of two-thirds will simplify with the 15. So basically we've got, uh, however you look at it, one-half times 10, one-half times five times two. In either case, we'll um, end up with a five as our coefficient, so minus 5 times x squared plus 15 to the 3 halves power plus our constant of integration. So here's the antiderivative of our first example. Let's take a look at our second example here. We have the integral of x over the square root of 4 plus x squared. And what we're going to do is look for um, possible composition of functions. And what I notice here is that I have 4x squared as the argument to a square root function. So I'm going to go ahead and try to choose that as uh, what I will substitute. So we're going to let u equal 4 plus x squared. Then 
my differential for my new integral, my du, will be u prime of x dx. And in this case, u prime of x is 2x dx. So now what I want to do is uh, basically map this information onto the integral I already have. So what I notice is I have a variable x and I have dx, which matches what I need for my differential du. What I'm missing though is I'm missing a 2. And we can uh, always multiply and divide by any constant that will help us make this substitution, and only constants. So I'm missing a constant of 2. So let's go ahead and multiply by 2 and by 1 half. That's, in essence, multiplying by 1. And that will then create the differential du that we need to transform our integral. So I'm going to rewrite this. Let's rewrite this. I'm going to bring the 1 half out in front of the integral. I'm going to write 1 over the square root of 4 plus x squared times 2x dx using properties of multiplication of fractions. I can separate that 2x from the denominator by simply multiplying in this manner. Now at this point, we can replace the 2x dx with our new differential, du. We can replace 1 over the square root of 4 plus x squared by 1 over the square root of u. And so what we have now is 1 half the integral of 1 over the square root of u du. Now let's go ahead and write this 1 over the square root of u using an exponent. So we have 1 half the integral of u to the negative 1 half power du. And at this point, we're ready to integrate. So we'll have 1 half, I'm going to have times u to the negative 1 half plus 1. Negative 1 half plus 1 is a positive 1 half, and then we'll need to divide by 1 half plus c. Now let's go ahead and take care of that division by 1 half and replace u with how we defined u. That is replace u with 4 plus x squared. So what we have is 1 half times 2 over 1 4 plus x squared to the 1 half power plus c. Notice that our 1 half and 2 over 1 will divide out. And what we're left with is um, simply 4 plus, plus x squared to the 1 half power plus c. Now, if you choose, you can rewrite that with a square root, but it's not entirely necessary. I hope you find this helpful.